Hello there. The level of fraud in the UK is absolutely mind-boggling, especially the amount ripped off of the taxpayer, and finding the money once it's gone is extremely difficult. Firstly, please subscribe and like this video to give my channel a boost and I'm always uploading new content so please do check back every day and a big thanks to my Patreon and PayPal supporters. Last year, the Royal United Services Institute, RUSI, issued a paper saying that Fraud against UK citizens, businesses and the UK public purse has reached epidemic levels it is the volume crime of our time. And last week, the government counter-fraud function published a report on cross-government fraud from 2019 to 2020. And this report showed a level of fraud that, if recovered, would pay for our entire armed forces and leave ten or so billion over for good measure. In the report, it said, The estimated fraud cost to the government outside of the tax and welfare system is £2.5 to £25 billion a year. This increases to £29.3 to £52 billion a year when fraud against the tax and welfare system is included. Now these figures are estimates derived from something called loss management activity and use of the Fraud Measurement and Assurance Programme. But let's now compare those estimates of billions in losses to what's recovered and what's prevented. In 2019, £205 million in fraud was detected and £50 million in fraud was prevented, just over a quarter of a billion pounds. Then in 2020, detected fraud rose by 51% to £310 million and prevented fraud rose by 676% to £388 million. That's under three quarters of a billion pounds. But the fraud estimates are in the tens of billions. Now whether the increases in detection and prevention are down to increased fraud or increased anti-fraud activity, I'm not sure. But anyway, note that prevention and detection is only in the millions compared to the estimated billions actually being carted out of the Treasury. And the report's strapline explains the problem. Fraud is a hidden crime. In order to fight it, you have to find it. But the next point to note is that the pandemic has provided a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for scammers to milk the various coronavirus loans, funds and grants. On this, the report says, Criminals have taken advantage of this to target the public sector, particularly in relation to stimulus funding and support. Departments are currently working hard to put in place post-event assurance measures to measure, understand and recover, where possible, losses arising from COVID-19. And then on top of that, we have the National Crime Agency talking about 4,500 organised crime groups operating in the UK, earning themselves £37 billion a year. So when you factor in the City of London and some of these rather dodgy-sounding government pandemic contracts for PPE and software that either doesn't work or doesn't get delivered properly, you begin to wonder if it isn't crime and fraud that's the UK's biggest industry, by far. So what do you think about this fraud situation? Please share and comment below. And if you want to hear more from me, please don't forget to subscribe and also press that little bell, or you won't get any notifications. And if you want to see more of me, buy a mug with my mug on it by following the link in the descriptions box below and support me on Patreon or PayPal. And thank you for watching.